Hey guys, Jim Woodrick here, uh, the Great Lakes Realtor, for another adventure onto the Fife Lake Loop. Uh, this is a 21 and a half mile loop. Uh, I have never been on this trail before. We're gonna kind of figure out. Uh, right now, I just kind of got to the trailhead, had a late start, uh, had to kind of track down a restroom. But for those of you who don't know, there is a nice little gas station about a mile down the road that took me forever uh, to find. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is uh, here in a second, I'm gonna get ready and, and pack my gear. I'm here right now and I'm kind of debating if I wanna go down or around this way, the long way. Down this way to the long way or come down through this way. Um, uh, I think, yeah, I'm gonna try this way and see what happens and go down through this way and then cross over at 131 and then come back through and then tomorrow I'll just finish it up and come back home. Hey guys, the Great Lakes Realtor here, pardon the, the traffic, we're right alongside the road there, but um, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you this marker as soon as we get across the, the highway we got. We're heading to the old US 131 campground. Um, got 11 miles to go, so hopefully uh, we can get that done so I'm gonna have to start hammering that out. So far on the trail, it's been pretty, pretty easy, pretty flat. I don't even really think I need these other than it gets real deep and sandy in some spots, but. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick update. Uh, shortly after that lake that I just showed you, um, the lake is a part of a campground, and I hope you can see behind me here. I'm gonna throw my sticks down on the dirt, but um, uh, get all these really cool uh, camping spots. They're 20 bucks a night. You just uh, fill up a little sh sheet, drop the money in an envelope down a little tube, and uh, away you go, and then just pick out your slot 
and as long as the, um, there ain't a sticker hanging on the post, you're good to go. I'm getting ready to head up this little side trail back here, but this place is booming. Look at that. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, do come out. It's, it's well worth the trip. Hello boys and girls, I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Um, I'm about four miles in, I've been kind of stopping and recording a lot of video. And I figured, what the heck, um, try and get some Facebook in on this too as well. But uh, these are the kind of views that I'd be getting out on this trail up here at Five Lake uh, Loop. Uh, gorgeous place. Uh, if you guys are missing this and you guys don't happen to see it, um, uh, just let me know and uh, I'll send you the YouTube link. I would love it if you guys liked it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment it to it. Help me grow the channel. Uh, exploring uh, the wonderful things that Michigan has. But obviously you can hear the birds over here are kind of uh, fighting with one another.
Yep, there he is, just sitting and hanging out. He does something. Right there he is. Little son of a gun. Good thing I grew up in Arizona with things a lot more intimidating than him. <laughs> the cool thing about snakes is if you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. They're an ambush predator. For the most part, from what I'm aware of, from what I've grew up understanding and been around. But yeah, you don't mess with them, they don't mess with you. Zoom in a little bit more on that little yellow guy. I'm not too sure what this bad boy is, but he was a hissing at me when, uh, oops, let me zoom in, not out. When I walked past, he's alive. Wherever his eyeballs are, I don't know, but he was watching me. But thank you, Mr. Snake, for letting me know you were there, because I didn't feel like getting bit today in the woods. Alright, so I guess right now, I'm going to have to figure out um, where I'm going. I don't know, I don't know where that's going, but I know that, um, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way. Look up through here. Hey guys, I hope you're having a, a continuous day to your beautiful day. I found this little uh, gem. I'm gonna drop my pack here real quick and uh, if I can figure out where the switch is. And uh, I wanna show you this. I've been following this little river. Check this out.
All right, guys, looks like I finally made it to a, a rest area alongside uh, 131 here. So uh, there's the big sign behind me. But uh, I think right now, um, I'm gonna kind of show you where I'm at, where I'm guessing uh, we're at. Cause there's the campground, the US 131 that I wanna go to. So I'm assuming <laughs> We're just right there, so we got just about maybe a mile or a mile and a half left. But uh, I'm gonna see if there's a water spigot somewhere around here so I can fill up my uh, jug. And maybe use a little less rest, le rest room, le the left of room. <laughs> Let's check this place out. The trail has been pretty cool so far, um, it's very easy. At least in my opinion, it is long. Uh, I think all trails said it was about 10 miles to the camp area, and I think it's about 13, 14 miles uh, to get to the US 131 from the north end. Um, but we shall see once I'm all done and I finally get there. But uh, um, you guys stay tuned. Let's give you a quick, quick update on the trail so far. Uh, it's all that right now. Um, pretty easy um, back that way you'll see that they had off to the right you want to go to the right if you're coming from the, the, the north end you're gonna want to go left but in the middle and that um, rest area the, the, the off-road rest area is a, uh, a pump it's kind of hard to spot it is tucked way in there but I found it got some water and we're ready to rock and keep on going I think that we finally made it to Lake Forest Campground. I mean, at least another crossroad, kind of just hanging out in the middle of the road. But um, the trail comes in right there and uh, where that little bridge is. And the entrance to the campground is behind me down this uh, road here. Sorry, I can't see with the sun shining me in the face, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go down. I think we're at like 13 or 14 miles in, so we're gonna go check it out and get it set up for the night.
another beautiful night, another great night. I think I'm kaput. I got my firewood, and uh, I probably won't use all of it tonight, but I'm gonna use uh, most of it. And uh, I got my lunch. So the first one I grabbed was Mexican style chicken stew. Ooh, MRE. <laughs> I have no problems with them. Um, I am I am tired though, so I think if I eat this, I'm gonna call my missus and I'm gonna call it call it a night and just get some sleep. I think tomorrow I've got like a three or four hour hike, nothing too bad. I'll probably leave in between six to eight in the morning and uh, uh, go from there. But uh, dude, this this place is this is a pretty cool place. I got it right next to the river, so I got lucky. And uh, hopefully I, I can open up uh, my side curtain and uh, just look out over the water tonight and then have some fun. But yeah, you have a good one. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I just woke up. It's probably about 50, 60 degrees. I'm going to keep kind of quiet. Um, only because like everybody out here is still sleeping. There's not a whole lot of people. I think maybe maybe two or three along with myself, but yeah, I got a nice view of the river <clears throat> right alongside me, and uh, I'm getting ready to heat up some ramen noodles, I think, for breakfast, and I'm gonna burn up the rest of my wood and uh, break down my sight and get going. <laughs> so what a beautiful day for me today <laughs> I'm so truly blessed life is great this is where I get to have uh, breakfast today with this with all this fun this love and this joy look at this this is great oh, oh, I'm so happy <laughs> it's beautiful isn't it um, come on out guys I'll take you out I don't care it'll be fun check this out dude this is, this is great <laughs> I slept pretty darn good last night and uh, other than the fact that there's a few floaters that come down the river about 11 12 maybe midnight and uh they were pretty loud but other than that dude this place is great uh it's 20 bucks a night and uh the dumpster's at the front end of the place and uh, uh let's see what else what else there's water here and they got the porter johns or whatever you want to call them those fancy things the uh, whatever i'll just call them the porter john and uh yeah a little fishing spot if you ever decide to go bring your poles Somebody left theirs.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey. It was super fun. I'm glad to have you along. And I'm super happy to be back at my car and at the start of the trail. But I wanted to kind of re reiterate uh, uh, what we went through and what I did on the trail. So if you ever come out here, uh, it, it's super fun. Uh, a lot of snakes. Um, there's a lot of lakes, on the, especially on the east side of the trail. If you go out there, you can definitely do a lot of fishing. Bring your pole. You're just in and out. And call it good. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic from the highway here, but once you get further on into the woods, uh, it's quiet, super quiet. So we started here, and then we worked our way all the way down to that campground, which is about 14 miles, so do prepare for that. 14, 14 15 miles. Uh, I thought it was gonna be around 10. 9-10-ish, um, according to the signs that they got here, but uh, yeah, I was a little wrong. It took me about eight, eight hours-ish to get down there, so leave early in the morning, not like 10 o'clock like what I did. But um, yeah, this one from here on up, I did stop uh, to take a little break halfway in between, but um, three, four hours. Um, I think I left at eight, four hours, and I kind of took my time. I didn't, I didn't go and cruise and go super fast with it. But yeah, I'm done. My next journey is to uh, get something to eat and leave. All right, I'll talk to you later.